What's up? It's your boy, Hatmaster, playing some Dead by Daylight instead of Smite because Smite has so many people playing it that I can't log in and record a Ymir game. So we're going to be playing Dead by Daylight instead. Uh, I think it'll be a fun one. Huntress is my main killer in this game, so we are playing Huntress. Now, for those of you that have never seen any Dead by Daylight gameplay, I can briefly tell you what it's about, but I would recommend looking more stuff up if you're interested. But... Um, essentially the objective of the game is there's a killer and there are four survivors. The four survivors, um, are trying to do generators to power a gate to leave the world. And the killer is trying to kill all of them. I mean, I guess that's kind of obvious. The killer can hit a survivor, which will put them in injured state, hit them again, put them in a dying state, and then the killer can hook them. If the killer hooks them three times, they die and survivors can unhook friendly survivors. So that is the basis of the game. So these are the generators and stuff. Now, I haven't uploaded any Dead by Daylight gameplay because I'm not that great at the game. And I wanted to get more perks before I uploaded anything. So I feel like I'm pretty average now. Pretty average at the game. Uh, oh, you still doing this? Hello, Blendy. You have strippers. You have a map. Um, I just hit Kanye West. You can see the player names in the bottom left. Kanye West, how could you? How could you uh, throw a pallet down against Huntress? So, I'm gonna go hook her real quick. And the in the bottom right, those are my perks. You can get perks on every, any character in this game. They kind of give you advantages. Think of like items and smite. All right, so one of mine is barbecue and chili, which after hooking a survivor, I can see survivors far away from me. So I kind of saw one over here in this corner. Let's go over there. They also saved their friend off the hook. I think he was on... Is someone's... This journey's kind of worked on. By the way, let's go back this way. They're probably going to finish a generator soon. Again, if they finish five generators, they can power a gate and leave. We do not want that to happen. Don't do it! Cool. Oh, actually got stuck. Did she not leave? No, she didn't leave. She went this way. Okay, okay. Could have kicked the generator. You in here? No. She went on the other side. I feel dumb. I hear her. Yeah, she's right here. There you are. Oh, ho, ho, ho. well timed. That window did not work to your advantage. I hate to tell you. The actual lore behind this game is there's a thing called the entity, and the entity has kind of taken over the killer's mind to do the killing for the entity's bidding and the entity feeds off of survivors hope this isn't like the real world it's like a dream world type thing that the entities kidnap the survivors and survivors keep playing this over and over and over again and since the entity feeds off hope that's why it gives them hope with the generators to get out so that's the basis of it the killers don't like actually want to do the killing although their lore they've done killing kind of depends on the killer but yeah, there, there's a lot of interesting stuff to this game if you dive into it. But I think that's as far as I'll go. But yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome to see that Smite's doing so well right now. Uh, I think today, which is the 14th of July 2020, is the most players ever recorded. I think it's because of the Avatar Last Airbender thing, which is cool. But also, servers are kind of garbo and I can't do anything. Oh, I should be using more perk whispers. If anyone does play this game religiously, just know, yeah, I'm not that great compared to you. But I, I, I have fun. I have fun. Where are you? There you are. When the survivors run, I can see scratch marks. Did you not heal? That's rough, buddy. 
Kind of your own fault, though. No, don't do it! Because you had the opportunity to heal. You have a med pack, and your friend was with you, so... Normally, I don't like killing, um, hooking survivors twice in a row. Like, the same one. But she totally had an opportunity to heal. She had a long opportunity at that. We only have three hatchets. We're going to need to refill pretty soon. Did someone go straight for the unhook? I thought I saw someone over there. Now, I definitely don't want to hook her again. And that's just tunneling hard. But so we'll, we'll try to find somebody else. There's many scummy ways to play this game. But I would say it's not as scummy as like in Smite when you're like taking advantage of duel, right? Is the way duels designed now one of my perks is called huntress lullaby every hook i get will make survivors they have to do these like skill checks which are kind of hard and it makes them not have a sound before the skill checks so it's kind of hard for them also are you here somewhere there you are come out we have you surrounded Ah, uh, there's a hook right here for you, Blendy. Alright, so there's someone on this generator here. Oh, I wanted that to hit. Also, they went right for the unhook. I could have probably punished him for that. So hard to see in this grass. I should use my hatchet and cut all this grass down, man. Be to my benefit. Oh, there you are. I see you. When they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really. Oh no! Whatever. Let me kick the generator. Kick, kick. I'm out of hatchets, so I need to open them. Open a locker. Yeah, so my Huntress Lullaby is four stacks right now, so it's really hard for them to do skill checks, which is why they keep blowing up the generators. Wait, are you just standing still? Are you serious? Kanye West? You blending, Kanye? It might be AK. Uh, actually, okay. Why they just give up? Whatever. Yo, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, so now my Huntress is fully stacked. So, uh, <laughs> they're having a really hard time doing these generators. I think I'm against some low ranks. That's because I'm kind of low rank, too. You're kind of fast. You have sprint burst? No? Oops. I want I wish to drop down. Hello? Go back up the stairs? Buster! We Leap of Faith. Oh, she went she's going again. Did she drop down or not? she dropped down i was trying to look on this side to see if she would drop down but i didn't like i heard her but i didn't see the scratch marks at the bottom so i was a little confused i might as well go this way she's already injured they all have sprint burst Two more hatchets. Two more hatchets. Ah! Now, basement's right here, I think. Yeah, this is the basement. I don't know the maps that well, so I sometimes forget. But hey, convenient for me. 
This seems like one of the few maps that the basement's like actually in a house. <laughs> I don't know, but sometimes in some maps the basement's just in the middle of nowhere. What's so good about the basement is it's easy to defend as the killer. It's harder for survivors to save their teammates. Obviously some killers use that to their advantage and kinda, kinda just camp, but we're not about that. We still need to do three generators. Oh, this one's so close. Not anymore. Also, if you're wondering who's humming, it's just the Huntress. The Huntress is part of her, like, balance, I guess. Because she is one of the few ranged killers. And I guess they wanted it... They wanted survivors to know when she's coming, even if she has, like, undetectable perks. Do it this way. I see her. She's on this side of the hill. Okay. Was that the person that just got unhooked? That's not who I was chasing. I'm not going to get you again. I don't want to get you again. Man, the mist is thick. It's hard to see. So I'm going to use the add-on to make the mist thicker. Come on, this got to be someone. No, I guess we are going to go for her. Sorry, Busta. I don't know where your teammates are. I didn't want to go for you. I was chasing someone else initially. But, uh, I don't know. Oh, no! This is not the guy I hooked. Never mind. Never mind. That's their first hook. Yeah, the little meter on the bottom left when they have the hook, that's how long they have until they die. There's three stages hook. There's the first stage, struggle stage, and then when they die. So right now, she's just in the the first stage. Man, the mist is really thick. The mist is really, really thick. Oh, well, they're messing up their heal heal checks bad yeah hold on i saw your friend this way yeah come out with your hands up hands up come on come on come on come on there we go <laughs> Little standoff. I don't want to go around. Uh, I can actually get her in the basement too. I have an objective right now to get survivors in the basement. So, oh, there's someone else there. I think I need one more hook in the basement for my objective. So she's in the struggle state right now, which means she's got a spammer space bar. Otherwise, she'll die. Now, where did I drop the other person? They were over here. Oh, they actually got up. I thought they were over here. No? Okay. Someone definitely went for the save, but, uh... I need more hatchets first. Is there not a locker here? Plus, I kind of just don't want to camp. Alright, now we'll go back, though. Wait, never mind. This Jenny's... Thought we've been working on. Okay. We're in the end game now. Wait, what? Survivor found. What survivor? The what? Oh, they went back this way. And we're right here. Okay. All right, works for me. Works for me. Is that your last hook? All right, so you got two kills. 
Where's my barbecue and chili? So I can see where the others are. Nope, they're all in this area. Alright, so we need to find the last two people and then we win. They need to do two more generators. It's definitely possible, but I think it's in my favor now. Especially because they haven't found my lullaby. I think if they find my lullaby, they have a chance. Which is the totem right there. If they cleanse that, they won't have the downside of my perk anymore. Let's use whispers to target them, which is my bottom perk in the in the right. It's the very bottom one. It lights up when I'm within I don't I don't know distance, a certain distance of a of a survivor. So I can kind of use it to triangulate them. Yep. Oh wait, you went around? Alright, that works. And when the third survivor is killed, no matter how far they got, the a, a hatch will open for the last survivor and they have an, a chance of escaping. So, where, let's see, do I see the other person barbecue? No. Okay, let's refill on hatchets. So a hatch will spawn randomly on the map, and if I find it, I can close it. If they find it, they can jump through it and basically win. So Whispers is not lit up, so they're not in this area. Um, I assume they're in by the house. I'm actually not sure where it spawns on this map. The hatch. It makes a loud noise when you get near it. So I don't know who's going to find it first. She's not in this corner of the map. Okay, so she's... Oh. She's in the house. Or on the other side of the house. Oh, hello. You know what? We'll give him hatch. If I find it. Let's see. We're gonna go on a trip. We're gonna go on a trip. I'm gonna, we're gonna find the hatch. Just you and me. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's no, stop wiggling. No, 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 no. No wiggle. No wiggle. Wiggle, I'm taking you to hatch. There you go. Thanks. I hope she enjoyed the hatch. So technically a 4K because I would have gotten them all. I'm pretty happy with that. GG, well played. So yeah, I'm thinking about posting more Deba Daily content. I'll probably edit the videos a little bit more. <laughs> what? Alright. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'll see you guys later, and I'll get that you beer video up. Enjoy, enjoy your days.